Hi, I'm Adam Snow with the Certified Polo Instructors Program. Today I'm going to talk to you about rain holds. So right now I'm just holding my reins loose. I'm going to gather them up into the style that I call the Argentine style, which was the way that I learned to play. That has the draw reins on top. They're above my in left index finger. They're both laying flat so that they're comfortable, and the two gag reins are between my middle finger and my index finger. And then I like to hold them so that the tail sits with all four reins in a nice neat stack there. So the whip would lay right on top here and it's just a comfortable feeling. A friend of mine, Cody Forsyth, described it like the helicopter joystick. And I like to play really well-schooled finish horses this way. And the other hold that I will discuss, I call the English hold, which is when I gather the reins, I'm gonna take the draw rein put it on the outside of my left finger, take the gag rein, put it beside that, and the other gag rein inside middle finger to ring finger, and the right draw rein between the index finger and the middle finger. And the flexibility that this rein hold gives you is you can help the horse's head because you have more lateral um, direction. So rather than literally separating your reins to direct rein her off to the right, you have the, ga the draw rein way out, you know, four inches from the left draw rein, so you can literally just cock your wrist this way and get a little bit of a little bit of the nose going the way that you want to direct the horse to move forward. Um, I also like this hold when I'm trying to focus on bringing my left shoulder across. Maybe I'm working on hitting penalties, but it tends to uh, enable me to sort of rest my left hand on the horse's wither and create a better platform for me here. So I think you should go for your personal preference between these holds, and there's some subtle variations on them, but these are the two basic holds that we use in polo. For some of the more subtle rein hold variations, back to the Argentine style for a moment. This mare, for example, moves quite low headed and I'm trying to, I like to pick her up when I stop. So rather than having the draw reins on top like this, I'm just going to flip my gag reins onto the top finger here and when I stop it tends to be a little more of a lifting action. Now one more variation we can use, I'll go back to the normal Argentine hold. Um, is to separate each individual rein and still have, I call this the tail, still have the tail off to the left. So here I'd put my forefinger between the two draw reins, my ring finger between the two gag reins, my whip would sit here, I still have this nice flat tail and it's off to my left not getting in the way of any offside forehand shots. I, I like this a lot because I can separate the reins and still have that old comfortable feel of the helicopter joystick. Now if you get really subtle, when I'm going left and she needs a little help with the left rein, you can switch your, your forefinger underneath the left hand draw rein to get a little help. Switch it back if you're going right. On the English hold of the reins, some of the things that I've seen players do and um, is that if they need a little extra help with the right you can you can literally reach down with the butt of your mallet and you can have a little help here and the other thing you can you can grab the tail of either the draw rein or the gag rein like if you'd like to pick pick them up but you like the comfort of holding them 
in the English style, you can literally decide which you're going to grab with your right hand with the mallet in it. If you want to pick them up on a stop, I would be grabbing the, the uh, gag rein more than the draw rein. But if I want to help them with the turn, I would be thinking about the draw rein as sort of the guiding rein, um, the leading rein. And um, so hopefully that gives you some things to work on. I, I really recommend experimenting with different rein holds when you're riding your horses, whether they're young or old, and just feeling A, what you feel the most comfortable with, and B, what can help your horses the most. This is Adam Snow with the Certified Polo Instructor Program. Thank you for tuning in. Play safe, play smart, play polo.